Vermont's Catholic Diocese is again facing a federal lawsuit filed by a former altar boy who says he was raped by a priest in the early 1980s. A man in Texas says he was repeatedly assaulted starting at the age of eight at St. Anne's Parish in Milton by Father Alfred Willis. Court documents say that then Bishop John Marshall knew of previous complaints from parents of boys in Burlington and Montpelier and concealed those facts from Willis's supervisor in Milton. The victim's lawyer says his client only recently connected struggles he's now having with the abuse. These days, with the availability of the web, he did some research and discovered that this individual was a well-known abuser. He had no idea. He, as with so many of these folks, he thought he was, he was the only one, only to discover that he was a well-known abuser and the diocese knew this man was an abuser when it put him into the parish. Five years later, the church defrocked Father Willis, but the lawsuit charges outrageous conduct and negligence and seeks unspecified damages. Now, in a statement, current Bishop Christopher Coyne said, the filing is further evidence that we still have much to do to bring healing and closure to the survivors who have suffered sexual abuse by clergy in our past. I wish that this particular case did not have to move forward in this way, but I will do everything that I can to bring it to a just conclusion for all involved.